Okay, so lead code practice time. Easy question closes binary search tree value. Um, if you have um, seen the previous video, two goals, similar as previous videos, two goals. The first one is to find a solution for this uh, specific problem and put some solid code there. And the other one is to um, see how to solve the problem proper during interview. So let's get started. The first step is always to clarify the problem with the, interview, with the interviewer if it is not clear to you and uh, try to fully understand the problem. At the same time, think about some edge cases, which could be pretty special. And then after that, it is about finding the solution. Um, so finding a solution part you will need to find the solution yourself, mostly by yourself, and uh, communicate with your interviewer, run through some uh, time, space, complexity analysis, etc. Um, and also, um, and also uh, after the communication with your interviewer, um, if you're both okay with that, uh, it is the next step, which is doing some solid code. So you turn your idea into the solid code, and um, during this time, we care about the speed, the uh, the the speed, the the readability of the code, and also the correctness of the code as well. And the last part is about testing. You explain your code uh, using some sample test cases, do some sanity check, and uh, set up some test cases to have enough test courage. So let's take a look at this this example. So example question, so given a non-empty binary search tree, a given BSD and the target value, find the value in the BSD that is closest to the target. So given target value is a floating point, and you're guaranteed to have only one unique value in the BSD that's closest to the target, which means, so this one, this one means that the, 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 the BSD is never going to be empty. So at least one note. Okay, so having said that, the edge case, I don't think there is too much of the edge case to be found, to be found because um, it is guaranteed the tree is not empty. So that's the only edge case I could think about, but uh, it's not empty uh, based on the note. And, the, and then we try to find the solution of the problem. So it says it's BST, so usually it is binary search. Um, so you start from the root. If um, the target is smaller than the root, then you go to the left branch, otherwise you go to the right branch. And at the same time, you keep track of the closest value uh, using a variable. Uh, so I would say the runtime is going to be linear to the height of the tree. And uh, let's do some solid code for this. So for this one, we don't need to check whether the root is empty, um, whether it's a non-pointer, because it says uh, guaranteed to have a unique value. So let's see, for, okay, so, um, well, uh, okay, so how to do that? All right, so how to start? Okay, so well, um, root is not equal to none. Um, the thing here is we are going to put the thing called, uh, let's see, closest. Uh, closest is equal to root dot value. And um, so if, um, Um, if so, we will say I will say closest is equal to um, closest. Uh, so root dot value minus target. Let's say mass dot bs. Um, this one. If this one is smaller than mass.abs um, 
blow this t minus uh, target if uh, the root value is closer then you assign the root dot value as the closest otherwise we will keep the closest as it is all right other uh, so and then um, if the target is smaller than root dot value then we are going to the left branch is equal to root dot left otherwise uh, we are going into the right branch uh, root is equal to root dot right and finally uh, we just return closest so we are pretty much go complete with this let's take a look um, uh, take a look at one example uh, to see how the code is going to work. So let's say we have the root, we have the tree like this, and uh, we are trying to find target as 3.714, and the uh, first of all close is, is equal to 4, and we say, and uh, we step into this um, while well loop. So first of all, we see, so first of all, we will see so because it is, it is still the root, so we, we can skip this checking actually. Uh, we will see the target is smaller than the root, so it's going to step into this branch. So it has a two, uh, which is the two, the node with two. And, uh, and then we do this uh, comparison and we see four is closer than 2.7. Uh, so, okay, so if this one is smaller, then you have the root. So if if current one is closer, then the cl current closest, then we are going to have. Okay, so that that's right. And now we have two three point seven larger than two. Then we go to this node with uh, number is three, and we see that uh, three is still not closer than the current closest, which is four. Um, then it closes is still four, so we return four at this moment. So let's do a submission. Okay, so it is good, and um, and that's it for this uh, coding question. So regarding the task is set up, uh, I would say since the note says, and it's definitely not an empty tree. I would say some general tree, um, general BST. Um, so I would say one example like this um, would be pretty pretty enough it would be pretty enough regarding the task coverage I think because it touches the if and else branch as well um, so that's it for this uh, coding question if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching